next morning, we joined the police on a raid of Orangi Town, an area reported to be a popular hideout for the Taliban. As Americans have escalated drone attacks in the tribal areas, the Taliban have increasingly moved to the cities. And Karachi, with its huge Afghan refugee population, is the perfect place to blend in. Karachi, this is the most Taliban factor. This has सबसे बड़ा गैंग इन्होंने مختلف जगहों पे ब्लास्ट किया सीआईडी सेंटर पे ब्लास्ट किया जो हमारे तपातर थे मेरे घर पे ब्लास्ट किया है तो ये है सबसे खतरनाक लोग और ये भी हमने बहुत ज्यादा पकड़ लिए Now I'll admit that I don't know a lot about police tactics but I couldn't help but notice that this operation lacked the element of surprise You've got hundreds of police officers with sirens blaring and again every television crew in town None of the cops seem too worried about walking into a potential showdown with some of America's most wanted. It wasn't quite the crack team we were expecting to be conducting this kind of operation. Deputy Tariq Malik was designated as our official tour guide for the operation. <laughs> So I feel like I'm on the set of a cop movie right now. The kind of buffoon cops that nobody wants to work with, they get the shitty assignment. So we headed into the back alleys of Orangi Town to find some Taliban, Sunni extremists, or any other kind of bad guy that was still dumb enough to be there after 300 members of Karachi's finest came rolling through. So this is predominantly an Afghani and Masood tribe neighborhood. Here's a 4.5 million person slum that you can't control. So when the Taliban want to hide, when things are getting too hot in the tribal areas, they'll come to a place like this and blend right in, and no one knows they're here. Jihadis, that's what they're hunting for. The new gang in town. Our friend, Deputy Malik, seemed more interested in texting than catching the Taliban. Do you think anyone, anyone will shoot at us? Eh? Will anyone shoot at us? Yeah. Will they shoot? Yeah, yeah, when many time. Okay. If they attack with us, then we'll we will shoot. Back. Okay. You'll, you'll protect Jason? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm responsible for him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, you're responsible. The cops stopped and searched the first vaguely religious looking guy they saw, only to come up empty. So we continued on. Going house by house now. This guy in the white has his finger on the trigger. Yeah, I know. I know. He actually seems serious about this whole thing, which makes me think that they might actually pull some criminals out of this. I mean, they can't, they can't not with all this media. But then I started thinking, what if we do run into some hardcore Taliban and shit hits the fan? How am I going to explain this to Jason's mom? I'm sorry, Mrs. Mohika, but your son, he was shot while uh, embedded with the Karachi police force. He was hunting down uh, Sunni extremists. Just another day at the office. I was beginning to figure out Deputy Malik's policing strategy. No camera left behind. But don't think about that. I mean, this is just a pure show. This is a pure media cop show for all the networks tonight. When I go on these shoots, I don't want to end up surrounded by guns. It just happens. Why are there so many dudes with guns in everything we film? How do you know when you find the Taliban? Yeah, I, uh, we searched the area. Our intelligence work is there. And they told this place, this place, this place. Right. Yeah. And what are you looking for right now, the specific Taliban members? Yeah, the, especially Taliban. We have arrested the Taliban. Killer type people. The killers. Yeah, You're killer. looking for the killers. Especially killer. And then what are you going to do with the people killers? Say, like, uh, killer people. When you find them, you're going to arrest yeah. them? Yeah, I rent them, rent them. Huh, they, they, they take the, collect the money. And and the kidnappers. Them. Yeah, kidnapper and rent some. This area is also. We continued waltzing through Orangi town, looking for killer type peoples. And then they found him. Straight out of central casting, a proper suspected Taliban member, turban and all. Weapon will ya, they are arrested. Deputy Malik was like a proud papa. Where is the pistol? Where is the pistol? Where is the pistol? Where is the 
The media were happy, so the cops were happy. And they called it a day with one 9mm pistol and a guy in a turban safely off the streets. Are you legal here, licensed? Yeah, I don't know. I'll ask him. And that man that you're talking about in the Taliban? Yeah, no. I don't know anything about it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Some guns that they confiscated from the old guy that looked like he might have been in the Taliban. I highly doubt he was in the Taliban. Did you see how that happened? Yeah, he was smiling. He was smiling a bit. That was all set up. Yeah. All the kind of mocking of the situation aside, this is a really dangerous neighborhood. Yeah, and if you weren't surrounded by 300 cops, you probably wouldn't be here. Yeah, exactly. Watching what was supposed to be a sensitive anti-terrorist operation get turned into a media circus, I couldn't help but think that it was no wonder the U.S. didn't want to involve the Pakistanis in the raid on Bin Laden's compound. It would have been broadcast on live television, and Bin Laden would have vanished into thin air. Kind of like any actual Taliban that may have been in Narangi town. The, the gangsters, when they kidnap people, this is where they come and, and uh, keep them because no one would come out here to look for them because, I mean, why would they? It's brutal. Like, sir, we should kill people. We should kill people.